If you wanted to deadlift 200 kilos, you wouldn't get there by doing endless reps with 50. Yet this is the logic people apply to getting a stronger, more sculpted set of abs. The same is true for building a stronger set of legs. You wouldn't get there by taking up walking. Why? The intensity is too low and the load is too light. Again, this is how people treat their ab training. Endless repetitions of a relatively low intensity exercise. If you want to improve abdominal endurance, fine. But if you want a strong set of abs, you need exercises that require high levels of tension, a deep stretch, and the ability to progressively overload with something other than endless repetition. Now, there's a myth that visible abs equals strong abs. This is not the case. Visible abs are a case of body fat percentage, whilst muscular abs reflect the ability to resist and create high levels of tension with your core muscles. Strong men who you see on Channel 5 lifting crazy weights have some of the strongest set of abs you'll find because they have to avoid awkward, heavy loads snapping their spine. You just can't see their abs because of their high body fat percentage. A prime example of this is 2017's World's Strongest Man winner, Eddie Hall. In his strongman days, his abs would have been incredibly strong, but covered in layers of fat. When Eddie switched to boxing, the fat was stripped away to reveal the solid set of abs that were always there, hiding beneath. For stronger abs, your exercises require high levels of tension, think carrying or lifting heavy objects, a deep stretch, and the ability to progressively overload. For better alternatives than mindless sit-ups, range of motionless planks, and ab exercises with insufficient load, check out my three problems that most men have with their ab training.